Hello and welcome to Selenium XPath tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about the XPath access methods ancestor, ancestor or self. So these two access methods are used to select all the ancestors, for example, uh, the parent node, grandparent, etc., etc., for the context or the current node in your HTML DOM structure. So that's what ancestor method does. And XPath format is pretty similar as we have been um, referring to in the previous tutorial. So you have the tag name or you can have the star here instead of tag name and then the value attribute uh, for that particular tag and provide the value for that particular attribute to forward slash ancestor, which is the method name, two colons and the tag name. So similarly for ancestor or self, the difference between ancestor and ancestor or self is that if you choose ancestor or self method, it selects the context current node, which is a context node uh, that you are referring and all of its ancestors like your uh, the parent, grandparent, etc. If the tag name for the ancestors and the self are same, say for example, you are currently referring to the context node for which the tag is div then if you use ancestor or self it will select all the ancestors for that particular div as well as the current node or the context node that you are referring if you just choose ancestor method instead then in that case it will ignore the self and it will choose only ancestors as uh, uh, per the context node so it won't choose the context node or the current node if you are using ancestor if you are using ancestor or self it will choose the current node as well as the uh, other uh, ancestor nodes like parent and grandparent xpath format is very similar you just replace ancestor with ancestor or self method so let's understand with an example in chrome so let me open developer.salesforce.com this is the website that we have been uh, using to explain all the access methods and the X selenium xpath how to find the complex xpath so let me just inspect some element on this page so that we can open the console here right and then i'll say command f on mac and control f to uh, open this search text box to start typing in our own xpath and see the xpath in action and try to figure out the web element on this page so now this is the html for this particular page now let's start using uh, the ancestor method so let me find some div which we can utilize to find the uh, parent div so let's say for example let me start with this uh, div id error box or maybe just i'll scroll open this particular div just leave it let me start with this one div id with error box so i'll start with two forward slash and then i can say star or i can simply say div tag name so it will start finding all the divs in this particular page if i say star it means any node in this particular page okay and then i'll specify the attribute i'll say let me scroll down what was the attribute for that so id is equal to error box so i'll say id is equal to and then just copy the value and paste the value and now you can see that id is equal to error box has been selected and it's a unique element one of one has been selected right so then for the ancestor to forward slash and then we'll use ancestor okay so the method ancestor and two colons and specify the tag so I want to find all the ancestors which have the tag div and are the ancestors of this particular reference node or the the node that the div node that we are referring here right the highlighted node so I'll just specify div right and you can see 
that one of seven divs have been selected so this is the parent or grandparent of the div that we have already selected so let's see what all ancestors are present so that's the first one second third fourth fifth sixth and seventh right so it didn't select the div that we referred right because we have chosen ancestor now if i change it to ancestor or self okay now you can see one of eight elements have been selected so it has selected eight elements in this page so second one third fourth fifth sixth seventh and eighth and here you can see that it has also selected the div or the self node that we have started with so this is the node that we are referencing in order to find all the ancestors for this particular node so that's the basic different difference between ancestor and ancestor or self method in xpath access now with this particular xpath if i want to modify it and select a specific ancestor of uh, the reference node i simply can provide the attribute for that specific node so for example i want to select div uh, this particular div with id content i can simply say add the rate id is equal to content right and close the square brace and now you can see that particular node has been selected uniquely on the page right so you can play around with these uh, access methods and the xpath tips and tricks that we have been covering in this particular tutorial so hope you like the tutorial about ancestor and ancestor yourself thank you very much for watching